Jen here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to share a little project that I just um, done not long ago. Um, I made this little um, journal. Let me have a look. I'll see what the size of it is for you. It is about 13 and a half centimetres by uh, about 18 and a half which is what in inches it's about five well I'm not sure what five and a and a quarter I guess about five and a quarter inches and about seven and a quarter inches something like that bit, um, I'm not sure about the quarter bits so a bit over five um, inches and a little bit over seven inches. All right, so this was a little um, book that I picked up from the thrift store, and I have um, altered it and turned it into a little scrappy doodle journal that I'm going to put into the uh, into my Etsy shop. Um, Following this um, video, I have um, the footage from where I created the, the book. So if you have want, want to have a look to see how I made it, um, I just got a, a bit of music to it so you can just watch me working on it. So this has got a, a magnetic um, little, um, that's why I, I like the book, that's why I got it, because it had a little, it's got this magnetic, so... I thought that was pretty cool. I really like that idea. So anyway, I've covered it, I've painted it, I've um, doodled it, as you can see. I think it's turned out really sweet. A little bit of bling on here. Um, I did an eternal, um, what do you call it, binding. So it's stitched and then I've... Um, attached it on the inside so it's not on the outside so it's just um, I just did a assortment of pages pages from the actual book are in here and then I've just added um, scrappy pages some of my um, my created digital papers just got an assortment of papers in here it's got a bit of this is from a the cover of a watercolor book no. Just some papers. This is um, from um, sewing pattern, you know, the, where they print um, the directions of what you need to do. I think there's, oh yeah, there's three signatures and I think there was ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so... There's tw um, 20 pages in each um, in each signature, so 60 pages all up. Yeah, so it's just uh, scrappy paper, book papers. Um, some of my um, drop paper when I do my painting and all that. I put some of that in there. So it's not just all blank. It's already got a little bit of um, stuff going on in there. Got some, uh, this is from a magazine. That's a bit of watercolour on some paper that I've done, just um, mucking around. Some of my um, painted papers, some more painted papers. So it's just an assortment of all sorts of bits and pieces in there, just to give it a bit of variety. This paper here, I've already um, did a lot of, um, did some, uh, oh god, I'm really tongue-tied today. Um, already did some gluing onto it, so there's papers glued. This is some, um, I think it's, uh, yeah, cotton threads from, you know, when you're sewing machine. And I've just stuck that down with some, um, gel medium. Yeah, so it's just an assortment of different papers to have a little bit of fun with. A 
ledger paper here. Some more of that um, watercolour paper. Bit pages. Bit of scrappy paper in there. Yeah, so it's just a bit of fun papers in there. And that's the other side. And I thought I would include with the journal, I've made up a little pack of um, papers for collaging to get started with. So I thought I'd just show you some of these are from my some of my digital papers that I've made. I've sealed them so uh, it's fine to use a wet medium. So if I thought I'd just show you some of these. I think there's over 30 pieces here. That's a bit of book paper from I love doing um, Sudoku. Um, these are um, mean tea, tea and coffee dyed papers. Some book paper that's been tea and coffee dyed. A bit of pattern paper that's been coffee dyed. A um, bit of ledger paper that I've Coffee dyed, a bit of music paper, coffee dyed, another bit of um, book page, a bit of vintage music paper, and these are my um, handmade um, printed, painted papers, whatever you want to call them. I do all sorts of jelly print and then stamp and do all sorts of stuff. All sort of stuff on there. So I just thought I'd just flick through these quickly for you. So I thought I would add this with, make it a lock, a little bit of a kit with the journal and some book pages, um, collage papers, and that's just a bit of um, paper doily. I thought I would add that with the journal and I'll bundle it all up and pop it in my Etsy shop if you're in interested. So yeah, I think it turned out really sweet. I really love it. And um, yeah, if you want to watch how I made it, um, just continue to watch and it'll follow from this. So anyway, have a wonderful crafty day. I hope you're all staying safe in these um, uncertain times that we're having at the moment. Staying home and staying safe and stay busy. Um, I'm, I'm not minding being at home. Oh, it gives me lots of time to, um, to make stuff, do some crafting. So anyway, happy crafting and um, have a lovely day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.